James Buster Douglas ended Mike Tyson's undefeated championship reign in the 10th round, KO in Tokyo, Japan. The fight was very competitive. Both boxers had their moments, and Douglas was even a knockdown in round 8. And the fact of the matter is it's Buster that's making it the fight. And it was one big shot again. He's down, he comes with the uppercut. Somehow or other, Buster's throwing shots back. Look at this. We're past the midway point in round nine, and I expected... My... Look at this. Look at Buster, we got him again. Buster fights back strongly. But Douglas showed character. And after the great combination in the 10th round, Tyson fell down on the canvas and couldn't get up in time. The outcome was a complete shock to boxing fans. Buster down, as you know, in the last round. Together as Buster's landing these... Oh, nice uppercut by Buster Douglas. Look at this. He's knocked Mike Tyson down for the first time in his career. Mike Tyson hits the canvas. He's in big trouble. He may not be able to recover. It's up to seven and eight. He's not going to make it. Holyfield vs. Bow was one of the greatest trilogies in boxing history. After two fights the score was 1-1, but in the third battle Riddick finished the business with brutal combinations in the eighth round. Once again, they even exceed the highest expectations we had. And we'll take another look at the end of the fight. There's the hard right hand that Holyfield landed in there, and then the right hand by Bo, and down with Holyfield. By staying in US and in doing so failing to acclimatize to South Africa location, Lennox Lewis did everything to lose for the second time in his career. Well he has gone to war. Holding and punching behind the head. He's got to get close in case take. Oh beautiful. This one he was trying to suck suck Lennox Lewis in again to throw the right hand. Lewis wanted to knock out Rahman very quick and started to miss shots. As a result, that was the great knockout for Rahman after a big overhand right. Undefeated before Felix Trinidad was a favorite in the fight, but Bernard Hopkins had a good plan and took most of the rounds. And in the 12th round, he catched Felix with sharp overhand right, and the fight was over. A huge and thrilling and unexpected victory with a sensational power shot show in the 12th round. Oh, what a right hand, George. What a right hand. Every shot. This guy was... It was one of the most unbelievable upsets in history of boxing.
the legendary Roy Jones lost his first fight in career. Antonio Tarver knocked him out cold in the second round. It was the fourth fight between Pacquiao and Marquez, and for the first time it didn't last all 12 rounds. Both boxes were in knockdowns, Pacman in the third and the Mexican in the fifth round. And in the sixth round it was one of the shocking knockouts that I have ever seen before. Brought us the blood of drama. Marquez was off balance again. Now gets his feet back and tries to roar back the nail pack out with the right hand. Oh! During his great career, Hopkins outclassed his younger opponents for many times. But in this fight he hadn't any chance. Josh Smith Jr. was better in every aspect of the fight and brutally knocked out the legend in the 8th round. <laughs> İnanılmaz bir darbe ve Bernard Hopkins ringin dışında sevgili izleyiciler. Ve tekrar izleyeceğiz. Burada aldı. Bak.